I can relate to that. I have two of my own. But your yeah, yeah. don't start for another three weeks, a little longer in Europe. No, 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 next week. On Monday oh, week. they start. Yeah, oh, only wow. one week. Yeah. <laughs> so I know it's busy. It's, okay. it's about time to go yeah. back to school. Yeah. It's been a long vacation. You know, they have two months two months. Yeah. Yeah, they need to go. They need to go yeah. back and continue yeah, I think the so. education. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Learn something new. Perfect. Yeah. Well thanks and for you? thanks for How talking to me. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Uh I recovered well, you know, my body is feeling good. Uh, so oh. my training paid off. Just, uh, you know, the flight and uh, the, the whole thing coming to Europe and flying yeah. and flying back. But uh, I feel great. I'm back to work. I'm yeah, getting ready cool. for uh, Borrego. So I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. You do 24, right? The exactly. Long one. Yeah, sure. Exactly. No more cool. short ones. If I'm coming there, <laughs> I might as well do the big one, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, all yeah. right. Well, cool. Yeah, I guess you found your legs. You were posting on social media that uh, <laughs> you lost your legs. Yeah, you I are know. coming to France. Finish <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's still the, the feeling. I mean, when I was uh, going out with a couple of guys, you know, which I use, who I usually, you know, beat. I'm be, I'm in beat. You know, it just I just yeah. can go with them easily, and I had such a hard time going with them on the yeah. climbs. That's that's what. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was complaining about. Yeah, but it's right. yeah, it's different, you know. Hundred kilometers or twelve hundred, it's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, it takes some time for the for the wounds to heal. I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I'm, this, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, now it's just uh, yeah, my legs are I mean, pretty much uh, pre PVP shape, but not yet pre pre ram. But yeah. my my ha my hands are numb. You know, this uh, the the tri bar that I had wasn't much of use. You know. I, I mean, yeah. yeah, a little yeah, bit not better a... than nothing, but not perfect. Yeah, so they allow the the aero bars, but there's still restriction, which doesn't really give you a lot yeah, of. Yeah, I, uh... I don't see the reason. You know, if they allow it, what what five centimeters, ten centimeters more? What what would the, that? Uh, I mean, what what would be be worth? I I don't understand it. But yeah, okay, still yeah. better. You know, it's, it's better uh, than maybe, nothing. You know, if yeah, if people would the. Uh, uh, use their minds, you know, they use, use their brain. Uh, they could use it, but you see people holding uh, the bars in inside of the group. That's that's what's dangerous. Yeah, high uh, speed. I, mean, I never do that. Yeah. Yeah. Rookies, guys that never used aero bars, you can tell because they yeah. were not set up properly. But a lot of guys yeah, are true. seeing positive things because they're getting some relief. Because there's a lot of riders yeah, that true. avoid doing long rides due to numbness, and hopefully the aero bars are helping a little yeah. bit. You know. So no yeah, nerve damage that, yeah. for you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it is. It is, it is uh, bad. I mean, yeah, it's uh, still no. I mean, I still haven't recovered uh, since Ram, but now it's a little bit worse. You know, it's a step back, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like... better with with a with a full full on aero bar, you know, because I yeah. Can... Oh, I lost it there for a second. Are you still there? <laughs> I could use. There you go. Which might be a little. With loud, it might be loud. Uh, it should work. There you go. Now, now, now I can hear you perfectly. I don't know why it keeps uh, keeps stopping. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the 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 room where I where we keep the router. Okay, okay. I just close, okay. just close all the doors so people <laughs> don't come running around. All right. Okay. Perfect. The light is not so good, but that's it doesn't fine. matter, I guess. Yeah. So PvP, this was your fourth. Why, why PvP? It's not competitive. What, what do you find in PvP that uh, is inviting to you? I don't know. Just the, the event. The event itself is. Uh, you can probably compare it to Tour de France. I know I, I never I never did the tour, but uh, I can I can uh, relate. I mean I can I can get the probably the same or similar feeling uh, as yeah. the Tour de France races do because. Uh, the people of France really uh, take this event as their own, as you know yourself. And uh, I don't know, it's I like I, I guess it comes with an age, <laughs> with the age, you know. Yeah. It's kind of a, I'm not so much uh, uh, so hooked on the on the on the competitiveness anymore. I don't know. I just find the the riding, too, especially you know maybe maybe PIP is not the perfect example because it's still you know as you know self it's still a bit competitive. Yeah. But the other, the other the brevets, uh, right. you know, that you that you do for the qualification is just perfect. You find your own group, 
uh, you do your, you do your share of the work and you enjoy the company and it's, it's similar similar at the PVP just in greater scale yeah. you know it just just uh, I mean crazy number of, of participants yeah definitely. so I just I just love the event you know the first the yeah. first year it was uh, you know 2007 it was a bit of a you know not down not didn't we didn't know what we're getting ourselves into and uh, but it was still right. almost perfect the weather was shitty that year it was rainy half that was half the rainy the time. year right yeah there you go. and the next one then the next 11 i did it uh, it was supposed to be fun with friends uh, so i did it uh, leisurely place 70 some hours oh. 72 73 oh, wow. a couple of sleeps you know five yeah. six hours it was great but again uh, I caught the group. Uh, I mean, the start, the start time that was rainy again. <laughs> so we did, we got our share, our share of the rain. So I said, um, I'll keep coming back until it's sunny. Yeah. Yeah, but 2015 was perfect uh, in 15 that sense. It was really good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this this year, it was, I mean, I don't mind so much about the weather nowadays. Uh, but it, we got some some showers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A few. But but nothing much. I didn't have to put my rain rain jacket on, so it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer the, the, the headwind. Weather. Yeah, the headwind yeah. towards Brest. The head the headwind was pretty bad. Yeah. The good thing is you can work with a group. Drafting is legal, so yeah, sure. if you find a good group, uh, well, yeah. someone has to be willing to work because what was it? Maybe 40 miles in, you pass by me solo, and you asked me how many riders are in the front. I just estimated 50 to 100. How many were actually there? There are, there are probably. There are probably somewhere in, in that uh, yeah, region, yeah, but, less than yeah. 100, but more than 50, yeah. Yeah, it was, was kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of strange, you know, the 300 person group and uh, yeah. there was only, not 10, probably seven, eight of, of us uh, working or, you know, everybody else was Sitting. trying to, I don't know what to do, what. And I didn't, you know, you don't attack on these events, but it just, and the funny thing is they, on the small rises, they were kind of, you know, pushing all. I mean, I was, I was in trouble. I, I was, I was having hard time to hold, to hold the wheels. Yeah. And then they just stopped, you know. So just, uh, I just prolonged with the tempo, a couple of times. First time I, I waited for the group. Second time I waited, and I said, I just better do my own tempo. So I just went. I, I mean, I didn't push it very hard, but it was just steady. So yeah, yeah, but it was pretty cool after, I mean, yeah, then I caught your group and uh, I think a couple of kilometers, maybe half an hour later, the, the the fastest guys of our group caught caught up with, I don't know how they split somehow. How many were in the front? Yeah, that time probably it was around 15 all in all. 15, 20. It, there might be some some from a big group, some also from your, from a group, I'm not sure, you know, because I didn't yeah. go check. But it was 15 to 20, and then those a couple of uh, small rises before uh, control point number two. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. And then, then probably that's where I, it it, uh, it became smaller. Yeah, less than 10, probably seven, eight. And it stayed so that, that way. That's, mm -hmm. that's how we continued, and just just um, became smaller and smaller as you know people take longer breaks or something because we we try to be pretty. Test on efficient. the on the control points efficient, yeah. Uh, and so so uh, the end of the night, yeah. Before Brest, there was only four of us left. Wow. So the and French at the guy, end, it was three of you at the end, except yeah, the Velomobile was, three upright bicycles, right? Yeah, that, I did. We didn't see him. He no. only passed us after the finish. Oh, wow. yeah, I mean, I mean, he caught up with us. Yeah, but the yeah, there was, was it was funny yeah. because four of us came to Brest. Mm -hmm. Two French, two French. Who, who was the fourth guy? I think it was. Uh, he was. It German? Was no, Belgium no, that was at the end. That was at the end, but that that was before because this okay. uh, Belgian was a group. So we caught on the climb from Brest. We caught up with with four four remaining uh, people from a group, which were giving us hard time. I mean, it's yeah. pretty hard to catch them. You know, usually previous years uh, the the big group caught the a group in 200 kilometers or 250. Now right. this time we took us Brest and then on the climb up. Up from Brest, you know, it's you know the long one, the only long climb of the ride. Uh, we caught up with them, and uh, they kind of, kind of changed. One one of the one of the guys from our group uh, fell behind, and a uh, couple of those, so only Belgian guys stayed with us, oh. plus two French guys. In the in the next, I think one or two two um, control points, the the second because those those two Frenchies were riding together. Yeah, they were very strong. Yeah, yeah, 
But one of those just, I guess, he just told uh, the other French that uh, he he had. I mean, he was he didn't um, uh, make an exchange. He didn't uh, do any work for a couple of stations, and then I think he was just uh, he needed the rest. Of he was done, right? So yeah. So, so that's what that's four of us then left. Yeah. <laughs> so you said catching up again, meaning yeah. you keep selecting the B group because you are not in the B group. What was the 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 meaning behind it? Why not A group? Why you start from the B group? Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I've seen I've seen a couple of French guys doing it. You know, the last time yeah. uh, um, when I did it, it was to fifteen. Uh, I studied I studied in A. I think it was, and then I saw a couple of fast Frenchies. You know, just starting in B because you know when you ca when you catch up with A, you have fifteen minutes of advantage. You know, I so was nobody, thinking the same thing, and they don't even yeah. realize it unless yeah, they see can, the. Yeah. yeah, nobody can say it's you. You raced, but still, uh, when you come right. to the finish, you have 15 minutes advantage. Exactly. So that's that's what happened. That's why this Belgian Belgian guy was 15 minutes behind because he was a group. And, uh, and there was a sure. couple. You know, before the race, I did uh, some research uh, of the first groups uh, in my my uh, previous PVPs. Yeah. And I, I found a couple of Frenchies who were doing C this year. C. Huh. So they were really they were 30 minutes. optimistic. They were optimistic, but they did they couldn't catch us. Up. So it oh, failed. Wow. Very really interesting. Bad. Wow. Yeah. Well, there was high DNF rate, you know. I think I read somewhere around uh, 27%. Why why do you think that? You think the cold, the wind, a lot of new yeah, unprepared probably, riders, maybe? I would guess the wind had had its effect, uh, but you know, as you said, you can if you find your own your group, you know, you can share the workload. Yeah. The cold is, I mean, it was not not worse than previous previous editions. Uh, you know, even even less rain. So when you, you know when you're wet and cold, that that's it, then it's bad. But yeah, this time yeah. it, it wasn't. Well, I mean, if you pushed it, I didn't feel cold. Yeah, the second night uh, there was a couple of showers, as I mentioned. So I uh, I expected a little bit more. So I I put on uh, some heavy, <laughs> maybe too heavy. You know, Gaba, you know, Castelli's uh, jersey for rain. Right. So that kept me warm. I, I didn't. I didn't feel the cold, uh, anyways. So and we, we kept pushing it. So that's that's the yeah, the best way moving. to keep yourself warm. Yeah. You know? exactly. Just keep pushing. Keep moving. Stay warm. Wow. Yeah. So did, so did, sure. and you guys yeah. finished together because it's it's not competitive. Everyone, you guys finished together. All three of yeah, you. Yeah. 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 We try. We try to stay together. We were. I mean, from the. I guess from breast backwards, uh, it was uh, just every time station we waited for each other. If somebody took a toilet break, we waited. Yeah. And the guys had some issues with the knees, both of them. Uh, oh, no. So they, they visited the doctor at Mortain uh, somewhere. Uh, so waited a little bit. Uh, in fact, I was probably the most sleepy of all. So I needed... <laughs> that was the one thing. I needed I needed some sleep. Yeah, but it did, they, yeah, they weren't... Uh, Happy about uh, you know it would you know as from RAM ten minutes would be enough for me, or yeah. fifteen. But yeah, they just didn't. So so I tried. I, I had to push through, and it was it was a, a bit of a a bit of a like in RAM. Uh, the, yeah, you know it's a kind of a couple of times I woke up on the you know of course on the bike and uh, was asking myself where am I this RAM? Yeah. No, because the two guys are together are with me. Yeah, and then the the French guy behind says, "Aku, are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up!" <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. Well, you yeah, slept last time, I think, in 2015. I think you end up sleeping, right? Yeah, that, that year yeah, it was probably it was a similar. Yeah, I mean that that year I was in, even sleep deprived coming into into PVP. Uh, 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 so this I came just after tour tour, I think. Yeah, after tour tour, and the the group was bigger, so. It was probably 15, 16 guys, and that was kind of, I just didn't feel safe enough, you know. Yeah. Because when you're alone on the road, you sleep, you know, it's no harm, more or less, if you don't fall. But in the group, you can easily catch, I mean, yeah. just get a fall, fall yourself or make somebody other fall down. Yeah. So just, it, was, it wasn't safe. Yeah. This year, I just, uh, yeah, I just had to push through, and it was good. At the oh. end, uh, yeah, um, just we just said let's let's do it, uh, all of us, all of us together. together. It doesn't, yeah, that yeah. was very special. Well, yeah, yeah, because I mean, the, the fastest you finish, the less sleep, uh, I guess you need, you know. So yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, and, uh, and the, so. you know the power naps, the, the same goes for every other ultra event. You yeah. know, the the small the power nap is better because you don't. Uh, 
you don't cool cool down, you know. Completely. But, yeah. So then you have to ba- yeah. warm, warm back up. Yeah. Sure. Stuff like yeah. that. Your body relaxes. But uh, on the other on the other hand, if you just go, if you just go, uh, you know, I mean, everybody's trying to to do their best time, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's it makes sense to do it like as you as you did, you know, just get a hotel room and uh, get and five, sleep, four, yeah. four or five hours of sleep, and it, yeah, it makes uh, it, uh, a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. You know, I mean. So yeah, um, as I told you, I did it. I did it in two eleven. Yeah. Yeah. In two eleven, I did it. We we actually found a hotel uh, at the four hundred case. So uh, we took a room, slept there, then uh, t- uh, I mean left left the some of the stuff there because we just kept the, the room for two nights oh, okay went to brest and back took the same room yeah and it, was, it was cool yeah. yeah yeah because the controls get crowded i was uh, especially a uh, concern about certain yeah. controls this time with the you know with the extra riders but yeah it worked perfectly well for me because i knew i'm gonna take 60 yeah. between 60 and 65 hours so uh, without a doubt i needed a break in fact, mm. my neck gave up at one point, so yeah. I was forced to sleep a little bit and give my neck uh, a little break. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, so next, Borrego, yeah. for you? Yeah, yeah, uh, I have something in between, but that's more, a, a, I don't know, the event that I've been invited to, you know, Cancellara is organizing. Oh. Uh, it's 200 miler from Zurich to Zermatt, so it's a, a lot of climbing, uh, 12,000 feet, I would say, yeah. Or more, oh, wow. thirteen thousand something. Uh, so I've been invited, and uh, nice. I'll see if, if I find my legs before that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I, <laughs> okay. I just do it for fun, you know. It just it just seems like a nice event. So that's that's uh, in September, and then yeah, oh, then nice. Borrego. Very nice, very nice. And you had new bike, right? You have new new sponsor. You want to say something about it? Yeah, how did, how did you like it? Yeah, I mean, I loved it. Uh, it was a. Uh, Sort of a gamble because you know it was the new right. bike. I got it a week before, <laughs> and I just loved it when I was trying it out. Uh, and I said, uh, "Why not? Let's try it." Uh, and it was, you know, perfect. Uh, I only missed the, as I said, uh, the triathlon bar. You know, the full, the full-on extension, which I'm really used to, and I can. I mean, it, it helps you. Uh, it helps me a lot. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's the only thing. Otherwise, it was perfect. So thank you for Spiegel bikes. Yeah, I was already in contact with them prior to Ram, but it was just not enough time, you know, for me to 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 bring it to Ram because the the guys are really uh, excited okay. about uh, ultra oh, wow. racing in Ram. Excellent. So they might, yeah, yeah, they might persuade me to do it again. We'll <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you because they're already <laughs> helping uh, Chris Hopkinson, so it seems like they're they're friend yeah. of ultra cycling, which is great. Yeah, they love it, I think. So that that's good. Yeah. So, so. 2020. Should your bikes and you're coming back to Ram? No, probably. Ha, huh, that's a long shot. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, too early. it's kind of a. Uh, you never. Um, yeah, there was, I was tempted by a rumor that maybe Christoph, you know, <laughs> is retiring. But even 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 uh, if he does, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm, my goal for next year uh, is uh, Trans Siberian. So Red okay. Bull Trans Siberian Extreme, which I've been invited to a couple of times before. It was just always conflicting with Ram, and now it's one or the other. And I, I was so good at Ram this year, so I may, I may take a year or a couple of years off. You know, oh, I, wow. I think I might be back uh, one way or the other. Yeah. But yeah, next year it's the same. Uh, totally. I mean, the Trans Siberian used to be in July. Now it's start it starts in June. So it's just no way you can you can do both and. Uh, that's that's probably that, and that's the the race that should suit me even more because you know as you know I I need quite a bit more sleep than some sleep. guys like guys yeah. like Strasser or like yeah. Robich who was uh, so this this is uh, the race that uh, has stages so it is the stages right that was my question yeah. sure and you have uh, Zachter stages. with you a support car and so yeah on. it's I mean the organization seems really on top and. Yeah. Uh, What's important is uh, the fastest you go, the more time you have to sleep, you have to sleep. So that should work in my favor, I hope. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. So that's that's the goal for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, a lot of racers sign up because usually it's ten uh, less than ten. Um, yeah. I reg- it's yeah, a tough I, tough one. It's a tough one. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I think I think they have a lot of uh, applications this year because they are kind of cho- choosing. Uh, they don't take everybody. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, so we have to uh, send them a CV 
sort of, you know, racing. <laughs> With your racing, racing history. City. Yeah. And see if you're going to get approved. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Well, thanks, Marco. Are you still training? I know this is your joy. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I've been, I've been uh, relaxing for the past week, but uh, yeah, legs are slowly coming back. So yeah. I, should be, I should be good for Borrego, I'm sure. Good, good. <laughs> And you're, still, uh, and you're still uh, doing your training business, which you enjoy, right? Ballercoaching.com. Yeah, that's that's going pretty well. Uh, I mean, pop, you know, always after Ram, a couple of guys, you know, just uh, lose the motivation or just right. just don't need the coach anymore because Ram is the pinnacle, you know. Yeah. So uh, I've lost a couple of clients, but I already have a couple Some new ones, ones even, even guys doing Ram. So I'm, I'm excited about it, yeah. So it's like uh, helping people, you know, achieve their, their big dream. Yeah, dream. Well, thanks, Marco.